Hello. like three to four minutes so that the material can stick well on it that is the purpose of us allowing it to dry a little So, I'm going to leave it to dry for some minutes. We allow it to dry a little so that the fabric will be able to sit well on it. We'll cut out a small portion of carry board like this and we're going to go here. I'm going to place gum like this. And put it this side also. Then you take up your you put on this side too. We are placing on the two ends.
so yeah it is so here we are this is the round band here we are with it so the next thing we are going to do here we are going to take our carry board i'm going to trace it to know so we are going to trace this round like this I'm going to trace this round like this so we are done tracing this now this is a 10 by 10 carry board so when you trace it out i'm going to cut it out So, you see what I did? I spread out my glue, my gum, out on the board. After which, I have to place it here. When you're done placing it here, you can then cut out. So, when we are done with this, the next thing is for us to bring our the, the 11 the 11 inches uh, that's okay we cut and we join together we are going to take it and we are putting our glue gum here we are going to put our glue gum here on this part that has the the So after we finish gumming this on the on this, we are going to cut out this part that we don't need. This extra part, we are going to cut out something like this out. We are cutting this out from the fabric. From the, this one we did. When we cut it out, we take up our glue gum. The next thing is for us to take up our glue gum, our gum here. We're going to take our gum. And we're going to go inside the part we're about to place this cover of the base. We'll start to take like one inch. So, we see what we're trying to do here. We have taken about almost an inch from here, covering it with our glue. Also, we we'll also go to this top of the base part. I'm going to put glue in this extra part like this. Because I don't allow it to sting.
poussé. No matter how hard it is for you, eh? Try and be stalking it little by little. Okay? You will surely, surely get there. As you try to put them inside, any part you see that is not well formed inside and that is not well fitted inside, you see that you press it down or you use your scissors and the, you know, so I can align well with the others. So, yeah, it is. Or better still, this is the way I want this one to look like. Or better still, when you want to measure this carry board, measure from the inside because you're going to be adding your fiber and this this uh, ash okay so it does not stress you out so i would advise you to measure from inside where you want to measure the carry board for this top to cover this base the base of this cap so measure from inside so you will not have this much stress that i'm going through now okay measure from inside you will not have the stress I'm going through now. So I'm done with this now. So the next thing to do is to take our satin fabric or whatever material you want to use to cover it. You can also use that material that you using to cover suit to cover it. So I'm going to make, yeah, cut out round the one you look like inside this is how it's going to look like we are going to use it to cover this base the cap inside that's why we cut out this okay so after we've done this we are going to take this fine side to face ground like this and this rough side because it will be like this so we are going to use our glue gum we are going to use our gum to gum all this side. Before placing it inside the cup, we leave it to dry a little, so like one minute. Let it dry well a little. Okay, I'm going to leave it to dry a little. So we we'll let it dry a little. We'll take it off. Hey, then. We begin to cover the edge like this. You cover that part that has the ashoke edge, that's of this back. The edge of that ashoke, that is what we are about to cover here. That's what we are striving to cover. So, this edge that is so scattered, we are going to cover it. We are able to cover this far. We are able to cover this. Then the next thing 
are going to do we're going to take our bias or our, our ribbon or something to cover the remaining parts so as you can see we are done with this part so you can get a, a bias or a, a ribbon to cover this mini part but i just want to use this because i can't find my ribbon so but you can still use this because it's not going to be touching any parts of your of your skin so why i'm going to know you have to start how many inches to cut Can use a red color, the same color of your of your of your fabric you use your ash okay. Use the same color to do this part. So I use my USU gum. You can see use the same gum you use in the starting to this point. You can see use that, but I just want to use this USU gum. <laughs> 